I've been out of breath all day. I don't know why. Okay, so today's video is a lip swatch video and a review on the new Milani, Milani, did I say that weird? Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams, aka liquid lipsticks. Everyone and their mama is coming out with liquid lipsticks. I know, I agree. It's like, oh, oh, every day. Someone's coming out with liquid lipsticks, but I'm particularly excited for these because they are from the drugstore. And to my knowledge, these are one of the very few liquid lipsticks at the drugstore. I know that NYX actually just came out with like actual liquid lipsticks, not their soft matte lip creams. They came out with like real liquid lipsticks. And I think that this is the other, the only other brand that has liquid lipsticks out. I mean, if you consider ColourPop, but ColourPop is not sold at drugstores. So I was really, really excited about these. I went out and purchased four of them. They're right here. There was a few more colors. Um, that I really wasn't too interested in, but then there was one that I wanted so bad. It was like a dark, dark brown. But of course, the one that I wanted was sold out. Of course. But I'm going back for that baby. I'm going back for that baby. Okay, so quickly I just want to say I'm so glad that I only picked up four because this was a mission to film. After the first swatch, the foundation around my mouth came off because I was scrubbing to get this off. So the lip swatches are were kind of weird. I know that they probably look weird. And I, I want to address something. A lot of people are always telling me like, why? Or they comment on my videos like, why doesn't she line her full lip? Like up at the top. And I will tell you why. Because I, I always have like a white rim here. And that's because I only fill my lips to where my lip color is. Because every time that I go over like the lip line here like you guys want me to do I look like Miranda Sings like I kind of did it for the last lip swatch I don't know if you can tell in the lip swatches but I kind of overlined my natural lip and I feel like I look like Miranda Sings like I look like a clown like I don't know that's why I always feel weird overlining my lips because I feel like I look like an idiot <laughs> so I only put lip color to where my natural lip color ends Anyway, that has nothing to do with this video. These were so hard to take off. The only thing that took them off were these Tarte Fresh Eyes Maracuja Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover Wipes, which I hate for my eye makeup. They suck. They leave my eyes super oily, but they are amazing as liquid lipsticks remover. <laughs> Who would've thunk it? Anyway, so let me get on with the review because I've been rambling a bit, a lot. I love them. I'm gonna flat out say that I love them. I do think that some people might not might not like them though. Let me tell you the pros and cons. Let's start off with the pros. They are so long wearing. I wore this one um, yesterday, this one? Yes, the dark like mocha color. This one in Beloved. I wore it yesterday and it was on my lips the entire freaking day and it did not budge. That's why they're a little bit hard to remove but with those wipes, they, or with oil, they come off really fast. But it does not budge. They have such a delicious bakery scent. If you're not into sweet scents, you might not like this. But I mean, you don't smell it anymore once it's on your lips. But I love the scent. So many liquid lipsticks kind of smell chemically. Milani hit the nail on the head. It's a super delicious smell. Also, I love the packaging. I don't find that it leaks. It locks into place. Um, I really love the color selection. This is really the only nude. But these colors are so gorgeous. There's not one color that I picked up that I think is ugly. I think they're all really pretty. My least favorite is the nude, but I will go into why in a bit. Another great thing is the price. These are under $7. I got mine at Walgreens. I've only seen these at Walgreens. I went to CVS to check if they were there, but they weren't. So then I went to the Walgreens by my house and they were there. So yeah, like I was saying, the price is right. I'm gonna talk about cons really quickly. Okay, so the formula of this. I actually really like the formula. They are very, very similar. The closest formulation to these are the Lime Crime Velveteens. I cannot feel it on my lips. There is no tackiness whatsoever. Let me do a kiss proof, kiss test. Nada. These are literally liquid lipsticks. They aren't that moussey formula. So if you are someone who likes that moussey texture more, I wouldn't necessarily go with these. I will say that around like the eight hour mark when they start to fade away, they start to almost crumble a little bit, but that's after wearing them for a long time. I don't find it crumbles on me before that. I don't find that they dry out my lips though. I mean, like I've said before, I'm someone who could wear cement on my lips and it doesn't bother me, but 
I like that they are liquidy and that I can't that I can't feel them at all. There's no tackiness, but it's not super drying. I like that a lot. I do though, I do recommend using these with a lip lighter because I found it a little bit hard to get really perfect around my lips as you probably saw in the lip swatches. It was a little bit hard to get like really precise. So I personally would go in with a lip liner and then put these on top and I feel like they would last forever and they would look awesome. I haven't tried that, but I will. The one that I highly, 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 highly recommend out of all of them is this one. This one is in the shade Lust. For some odd reason, this one feels almost moussey. Like this one has a more hydrating formula than these. I don't know why, don't ask me, I don't know. But this one, Lust, is my favorite. By far the most beautiful. I, I love it so much. The one that I don't really like, um, that I would have returned if anything, was Adore. Simply because this one got really crusty on the inside of my lips. Really similar to Anastasia's Pure Hollywood. Pure Hollywood does that to me. This is actually a very similar color, similar color to that. But I get that white crusty line in the inside of my lips that I get sometimes. And yeah, I don't like that. And this one kind of um, stayed a little bit tacky and it was liquidier. Like this one was very, very, very thin compared to the other ones. This one, for some reason, was liquidier. I don't know. This one's not my favorite. It... Uh, not my favorite, but these I cannot complain. Um, sure, there are a couple things that are not great about them, but I mean, they are under $7 and they are at your local Walgreens. <laughs> That's beautiful. I'm gonna go get that dark brown color. I don't remember the name, but I'm gonna go get it. So yeah, that is everything I have to say about them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.